<clears throat> okay, we got some more information about the box stop. New box skills in BOE Conquerors of the Atlas. As a part of the Conquerors of the Atlas in the uh, uh, Conquerors Atlas expansion, we're doing a full review of boss skills, sorry, bow skills and other mechanics that influence bow balance. Range of the have been under utilized for a while and we've made some significant changes. To their core mechanics as well as adding some in, some interesting new abilities which are unique to the archetype. It's probably the thing that you have to place them next to yourself. Stop, another nerd. We've made a number of changes to range attack totems. Range attack totem skills are now called ballistas with, with the existing support gem being renamed to ballista totem support. All Ballista skills start with three maximum totems and as those Ballista totem support. That's that's nice and very different from the normal like spell totems. Ballista totems place much faster than other totems, letting you quickly deploy your full power. I like that. Ballistas are all placed quite quite close to your character now. This makes your makes your position important, however, it is in the large distant disadvantage as most of the ballistas have long firing range. Yeah, this was the big difference between totems and this. We've shown this on all of the videos and probably so here as well. New passives have been added to the passive tree specific to ballistas and other attack totems, letting you gain uh, additional ballista totems. Chaperone Ballista is a new low level ball totem. It fires three projectiles at once, and an enemy can be hit by multiple projectiles from a single shot. It's called shotgunning. This makes the skill deadly when close up to enemies. The skill has a small amount of added physical damage, making the skill more reliable when leveling. Additional projectiles further multiply the damage unit to take down a boss quickly or place multiple to create a line of defense that destroys any enemy that approaches. The only potential issue with this build, this uh, skill is. If it doesn't have enough life, it's just gonna be dunked in one or two hits. So that's like the biggest potential issue I see with this. Artillery Barista is a new level 28 skill. It fires up a series of arrows that rain down in a line with all damage converted to fire. The skill has a similar damage pattern to Glacial Cascade, but unlike Glacial Cascade, the line isn't directly away from the totem. Instead, it looks at the positions of nearby monsters and intelligently rains down its arrows in a diagonal line that would hit as many enemies as possible, making it very efficient at clearing spread out enemies as well as dealing multiple hit targets. Yeah, that was really nice from the videos we saw. It's like it actually shot like half of the screen away for the first projectiles, and it started going from there. So, is this called the five head ballista? I like it. And snaring arrow is a new bow utility, made to because Herald of Agony wasn't good enough. It's a new bow utility that skill that fires a single arrow when it hits and doesn't pass through an enemy. And snaring arrow is a new bow utility skill that fires a single arrow when it hits and doesn't pass through an enemy. So if you don't have like pierce, I guess. A rope shoots into the ground, pinning that monster at that point. Oh, so it's not like you shoot an arrow to a target location and it has an AOE around that. So this is only to a single target? Like, in, like you, this literally only ap applies to one target at all, at any point in time, assuming like you use only once. It's kind of like bear trap, yeah. If they try to move from the point, they are greatly slowed. An enemy can have up to three ropes attached to it, each applying a separate speed multiplier. Okay. In addition to the slow, it also increases projectile attack damage taken and makes easier. Enemies always count as moving. Use puncture on an instant enemy to guarantee a full force bleed. Additional projectiles let you pin multiple enemies at once. So I assume it just choose multiple projectiles. While well, Ballista Totem support lets you create a totem that repeatedly the enchantress enemies while you kill them with your other abilities. So you... yeah, you... on a bow, Herald of Agony. 
you have your Stormbrand ticking for the poisons, and then on top of that you shoot them with the ensnaring arrow, maybe also get some poison chance for that, and then yeah, okay. Okay. This is a very strong single target skill for uh, like the already existing bleed bleed builds. Well, I guess for puncture specifically now. Okay. Check out the new skill gems in action below. Well, we'll do. We'll do that. God, that's some crazy projectile speed on Fleet Arrow. Man, the, the sound of that sounds so good. And the... the, the the art, or like how they look, is also really nice. Split arrow, barrage plus ballista, yeah. Wait, I wanted to see one thing. How does... What happens when there's only one target? Does it like the first hit it and then the rest just keep going? Or does it like concentrate all of them into it? so hard to see. Okay, so it looks like it keeps going. Okay, I need to slow this down. Uh, I want to see one of them target Hilo and see what, what, it, what happens. Yeah, that's a good one shot. That that bullies that just dies. Bloop. Okay, so these so it definitely doesn't like like get all of the projectiles in that same spot in the case where there's only one target, they just would pass it. I mean this is like an AoE skill, right? But yeah, okay. Okay, I want to see the the split arrow looked really nice. Dude, look at the fucking projectile speed of that shit. Let me slow this down. Look how fast they shoot! Like holy shit! Mm -hmm. It also looks like Split Arrow has a new animation, yeah. It doesn't look like this, the old... Oh, dropping the floor. This is, this is like literally mind placement. The old mind placement animation. That's literally that. Oh, he's... Wait, is that Quill Rain? That doesn't look like Quill Rain. That that doesn't that does not look like that looks like the Imperial bow base. But yeah. Yeah, Lion Eyes. Okay. Okay. We've also added three new support gems that can be used with both skills, have made some significant changes to some skills, including Explosion Arrow. Yeah, I already talked about this in the, the Metamorph video. So, the skills they're talking about is... Wait, three new support gems? They already, they already mentioned the Ballista Totem 
support. So what is the last one? We have the Barrett support, and then, or I don't know, maybe actually, maybe it's just the new bow skills, and then it says the new, maybe maybe the new ones include the ballista. This is in context of the video, I guess, and not the like the whole post. Okay. This 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 didn't give too much information, but I mean, at least we got the new about the like this was kind of useful, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs>